Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, March 10th, and it is time for Daily Devotion. What am I joyful for, uh, for today or over the last day? Well, I'll tell you. I was excited about cooking dinner last night. Um, I was going to cook the kids' burgers and Stephanie and I uh, some mahi-mahi, and I was excited about it. I love grilling. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do in the world, and so I was excited about it. Uh, but when I went to get the meat ready, I realized that they were still a little frozen. I had taken them out of the fridge, but they had, they still weren't 100% thawed. So I took them out right when I got home from taking the, uh, 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 from picking the kids up from school yesterday. And I put it on the counter, and then Steph and I went for a walk. And when we came back, we realized the ground beef was no longer on the counter. Our dogs had gotten it, and to this, we still have no idea what happened to it. I mean, we have a pretty good idea, but like the wrapper of the ground beef is also gone. So that's going to be interesting. The joyous part was, the part that brought me joy, I was a little annoyed about that. But what brought me joy is then, so with no time to spare, we decided we needed to make an audible for dinner. And we went to this pizza parlor, and... The four of us just had a great time. Uh, it was one of those unexpected times, a, a time that it could have been not very much fun um, uh, because it started off a little rocky. But then we wound up really having a nice time. We got to see people throwing dough in the air and we enjoyed all the food and we enjoyed conversations and we joked around. It was fun. It brought me a lot of joy. Well, my the scripture for today is Matthew 5, uh, verses 14 through 16. You are, to the, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do the people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Uh, being a follower of Jesus Christ makes you a light. There is just no way around it, and I love how Jesus points this out. When you're a light, you're going to be seen. You're going to be seen uh, from a light in a room. The whole room's going to see you. If you're a light on a hill, the whole town's going to see you. Um, and people are going to know you're, you go to church. People are going to know that you claim that you're a follower of Jesus. And so people are going to watch that. And this is one of the main reasons why Christianity is, is, is shrinking in America. Because people see people who, who claim faith, and then they go out and they talk about, you know, and then they support racism and sexism and bigotry. And they hear that, you know, Jesus hates people and Jesus doesn't want certain people to do things where others are allowed to. Or where we uh, say we're, you know, we love our neighbor and then we, you know, prop up the, the rich and we uh, continue to oppress the poor. Uh, people see this. Everyone sees this. And we say it's, you know, patriotism. We say it's uh, Christianity and, and people see it and it turns people away from Jesus Christ. There's no, no debate about this. Um, when you talk to people who have either uh, were follow, who went to church, grew up in the church, and who, when they fell away, this is what they talk about. When you talk about people who have never been in a church, and you ask how they see Christians, that's what they talk about. And it's sad to me because we should re we should be excited about being a people, a light on a hill, a lamp in a room. We should, our lives should so reflect Jesus Christ that we should reflect Christ's love, Christ's acceptance, Christ's grace, Christ's forgiveness. Everything that goes against what I talked about at the beginning. We are supposed to be the ones who are out front loving our brothers and sisters, loving our neighbors, no matter what race they are, no matter what sex they are, no matter... Um, you know, how they view their sexual identity. Uh, that is what we should be celebrating. We should be celebrating that we accept everybody because Christ accepts everybody. 
when we start becoming the light that shows love, the light that shows grace, the light that shows acceptance, that's going to draw people in. People are going to see the world hurting. People are going to see the world of exclusion and see Christ as a place where we can all come together. Christ is a place where we can heal. Christ is a place where we can love. We are not doing that. Uh, some people do, uh, but unfortunately, they're not the ones that get the spotlight on. Um, but we can be those people. We can be those ones that, that just show Christ's love as a lighthouse, showing a light to people from miles around. That's what I strive for. I don't always do it. Uh, I, I'm going to be the first one to say I... I, uh, there are many, many times that I do not show the light of Christ um, the way I, I wish I could. Uh, but we got to try and we got to make steps. And when it makes us uncomfortable, that's okay. When we have to give up our comfort so other people can have comfort, that's what we're called to do. It's hard. But when we love the way Christ loves, when we accept the way Christ accepts, when we give grace the way Christ gives, gives grace, we will show that light to everybody. Let's pray. Holy Lord, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for another time to um, remember our joys that we've had for the last day. And thank you for the reminder that we are a light to the world, uh, if we like it or not that people see our actions. Help our actions be the ones that you want shown. Love, grace, acceptance, that we will sacrifice ourselves for other people. Give us your love and your grace that we can share it with all people. Amen.